What's happening? What's the business? It's your boy Landlord from Alabama back with another video. And today, man, we're gonna go over this last game of the regular season between the Dallas Cowboys and the filthy Philadelphia Eagles, man. This is a head-to-head -head division matchup. I'm not sure how we're gonna play it. I don't I'm not sure if we're gonna start the starters or sit some people, rest some people. We just got news that a few people got went out with COVID, Tyron Smith, Anthony Brown, and of course, the defensive player of the year, in my opinion, Michael Parsons. So I'm pretty sure that's probably going to change the game plan just a little bit at least. And you know, with all this movement, we might decide to rest some players, six players, like after the first half. Now let's get into breaking this game down, man. Cowboys versus the Eagles, and you know they quarterback Jalen Hurts, my ex Alabama quarterback, who I, who honestly I have never been fond of. I never really liked the Jalen game that much. He's a great person, great leader, all that good stuff. The intangibles are off the charts, but in my opinion, he used to be a little lackluster when it came to the physical skill sets and ball placement and accuracy and stuff of that nature. But you know, he earned that type of thought process for me, man, because at Bama, he really almost lost those two championships, in my opinion. You know, it's not one man's fault, but we lost that one against Deshaun Watson because he couldn't take the throw that Deshaun could. And in my opinion, that really hurt us that game, and we needed a quarterback to make those throws. Then the last championship, Nick Saban had enough balls take Jalen Hurts out and put Tua in. Because in my opinion, we was about to lose that game. At halftime, it was looking dire. It was looking pretty bad. We was really in a slump with Jalen Hurts at quarterback. And he had enough balls to pull him and put Tua in. And Tua won the game. So, you know, in my opinion, if Jalen would have stayed in, we probably would have lost both games. But let's get into what he's been doing in the NFL. And honestly, he's been pretty solid. He's threw for over 3,000 yards. You know, he got 16 touchdowns, nine interceptions, and he got an additional 700, almost 800 yards rushing with 10 more touchdowns rushing. So, you know, he's been a pretty productive player and a pretty solid player for the Eagles, man. He's not no world beater in my opinion, but he has been solid and his play been really inconsistent. I've been hearing a lot of rumbles out of Philadelphia saying that they're not pleased with how up and down roller coaster type play he's been doing lately. But let's get into that running back position, man. This team is pretty much a running team. They got several running backs that they utilize, including Jalen Hurts in the running game. So it's just a dynamic running game. They throw to the tight end and a couple wide receivers, but this is a predominantly running team. So our running defense will be tested this week. Miles Sanders, man. I like Miles Sanders. To me, he is very similar to Tony Pollard. He got 754 yards rushing. He don't have a touchdown, but the thing about him, man, I like how dynamic he is. He's very elusive. And he hit that hole with a lot of energy, man. He he's a very fast, shifty type player. I really like um, Miles Sanders. I can't lie, he's a pretty good player, man. Even though he's in that hideous green, he's a good player. Then let's talk about their second running back, Jordan Howard. He even got 400 yards, three touchdowns. Like they hand the ball off to everybody, especially in creative ways threatening you with the run of Jalen Hurts as well. Jordan Howard, I believe he came out of uh, the Bears. And he was a solid running back for them for a few years, and he ended up getting shipped out. But if I'm not mistaken, he's from Birmingham, my city in Alabama. So, you know, Jordan Howard is a decent player, man. He, he's been productive in the league, actually from the starter, and they utilize him pretty well. He got both my plus rushing yards on top of what Miles Summers. Let's talk about their third running back. God, he's a pretty dynamic, shifty, Darren Sproles type guy, if you ask me. He got like 370 plus yards, 
seven touchdowns. So, you know, they include every running back on the roster when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles. They don't play when it comes to the skies of what they want to do with this running game, man. They very creative and they very assertive when it comes to the running game. They are going to run regardless of what's the production looking like. They are determined to run the ball. Now, we established that they're a great running team. Let's talk about their aerial assault. And you know, another Bama player from my college team, Devontae Smith. We used to call him the Slim Reaper. He is no joke. He is a dynamic wide receiver. He's a yak guy. He got a lot of moves. He's very elusive and quick. He's fast and quick. And he's a dangerous player, man. But, you know, he's slightly under a thousand yards this year man he got 875 yards five touchdowns so you know he's had a pretty solid rookie season man rejoining forces his old college quarterback and Jalen hurts man so you know they should have a decent amount of chemistry already and Jalen hurts trust him he got a hundred plus targets already so you know that's something that is struggling with with Myra cooper but Jalen Hurts got Devontae Smith 100 targets. So, you know, Kelly Moore tight though. But Devontae Smith is a baller, man. We're going to have to account for him and watch out for him. Hopefully, Trey, Trayvon Diggs, his old teammate, travel with him, shadow him, and limit what he does. In this game. Now, let's talk about their second wide receiver, basically, Quiz Watkins. He's the one that has more production than Jalen Rager. Jalen Rager only got like 200 plus yards on the season. I don't know if he was injured or not, but you know, I'm looking at the production and he's lacking in that category. Quez Watkins has 563 yards receiving and he has a few touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, he's basically their number four threat because, you know, all the running backs come before them. Then the next person I'm going to talk about, Dallas Goddard. He is a problem. He is a matchup nightmare. I like this player, you know. They did us dirty when they jumped in front of us when, in the draft when they got him. So, you know, Dallas Goddard is a big-time player. They even got rid of Zach Ertz. So, we know what type of player he is. Jalen Hurts loves him. He got 830 yards already and four touchdowns. That's a pretty solid year for a tight end, being with a quarterback full-time for the first time. So, you know, Dallas Goddard is somebody we got to keep an eye on. I hate the fact that J. Ron Kurtz is kind of injured. They probably going to play it safe with him. But I would like to see him be on Dallas Goddard or might have to bracket him because Jalen Hurts love to throw to him so much. So we might have to try to focus on him and take him out the game. Okay, now let's talk about this defense. And this defense has been one of the best all year. They are solid defense. So don't listen to the – BS media they be talking about like the Eagles are bad and some of them say they are super good but this team has a solid defense. We understand what they present on the defensive line with Josh Sweat. He's a nice defensive end coming out that end man. He got 7.5 sacks this year and a force bomber. He is a decent threat coming out that defensive end position. And then the next one, Javon Hargrave, he's a monster coming from the defensive tackle position. He got 7.5 sacks and a fourth bump as well, man. So, them boys cause carnage in the middle of that defense, man. They defense line is one of the best units in the league, bar none. And we just said that much about them. We didn't even mention the veteran, the wily old OG Fletcher Cox, man. He is a monster. He's been terrorizing Dallas. For years now, I, I'm really ready for him to retire because I am sick of Fletcher Cox, man. He's been terrorizing Dallas for some years. He is a monster, man. He's been a thorn in our side for a consistent amount of time here for the Philadelphia Eagles, man. So we understand who Fletcher Cox is, man. He's one of the best tackles in the league. Okay, now in the secondary, they got some solid players back there. They got Darius Slay. You know, he played Amari Cooper well. You know, he the one that got Coop talking about Scott Linderhan saying Darius Slay do those plays when they when we played Detroit that year. So, Darius Slay plays him very well. So, Coop gonna have to come with his A game. So, 
I don't want to see him disappearing. He's saying he wants the ball. So, Dak, make sure you get Coop the ball so he won't have nothing to talk about. Coop, you're going to have to beat Darius Slay more times than not. You're going to have to beat him to win your reps. But you're doing a lot of talking, saying you want the ball. You want boy, but when the ball comes your way, if it's catchable, I want to see you snagging it like you did back in the day. Now, that's what I need out of you. Too. So, yeah, let's go. And, yeah, Darren Slay got three plus interceptions. I, well, he got three interceptions, man. So he has a nice cornerback, pro bowler this year. They only got two pro bowlers on this whole team. Um, and that's one on the offensive line. I think his name is Jason Kelsey and, you know, Darren Slay. So, you know, they got one of the best, better offensive lines and one of the better defensive lines. So that's a big part of this game. That's one of the more important areas for football. So, don't sleep on this team. This could be a decent game or a close game if we lose in the trenches on both sides of the ball. Okay, the overall look on this team and this matchup, I feel very confident. I'm not sure how we're going to come out with the starters, but if we play our regular game, man, we should beat this team handily. I'm not too concerned about Jalen Hurt. I just don't fear him like that. He's never been a big-time player in my opinion. He's good but not great, he's okay. Especially if you take that running game away, Jalen Hurts will struggle very bad, in my opinion. It's my opinion. Everybody else is excited for this. It's mine. But that was my breakdown, man. That's pretty much what I got for y'all today, man. Just mess with me, man, on all these social media sites. Landlord from Alabama with the same helmet. And the algorithm knocking y'all my rhythm, man. So you could like, comment, and subscribe, man. It helps a lot with me trying to grow this channel, man. And as I say, man, 1K, 1 love, Cowboys Nation. Let's go.